first practice in Japan saw a red flag when Logan Sargent found the barriers at turn seven. The American driver straddling the curbs and the grass, then losing control of his Williams. You okay? I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm okay. Memories of Melbourne, perhaps, where teammate Alex Albon crashed out and was given Sargent's car due to the team's chassis shortage. They'll be hoping the damage isn't as serious as last time out. A few traffic issues early doors as drivers jockeyed for a track position. Carlos Sainz annoyed by the Alpine of Esteban Ocon and George Russell venting his frustration too. This McLaren just stopped in the middle of the corner here. And Nico Hulkenberg was shown a black and white flag when his annoyance boiled over into an overtaking move that meant his Haas straddled the pit lane exit line. Charles Leclerc revealed a special helmet design paying tribute to his former mentor, Jules Bianchi, who tragically suffered a fatal crash here in 2014. The monocast red lid inscribed with the number 17, Bianchi's race number, which was retired from use by the FIA as a mark of respect. Daniel Ricciardo was given the morning off to the delight of local supporters. His seat was taken by Super Formula driver Ayuma Owasa, who alongside Yuki Tsunoda completed all Japanese lineup for RB, who have a new floor on both cars this weekend. Many teams have brought up Grace Azuka, Red Bull with new calling inlets, among several changes to the RB19. Alpine have updates too, a refined front wing, one of several new parts on the A524. The French outfit have struggled with their 2024 car concept so far and have yet to score a point. Pierre Gasly has suggested the new parts might be a first step in the right direction. There are also updates for Aston Martin. Well, one of them. Lance Stroll given the first go around with the new bits, while teammate Fernando Alonso kept faith with the old spec as a baseline. The Spaniard finished the session P7 his Canadian colleague in P15, having had issues with his aero rakes early on. Max Verstappen has won the two most recent Japanese Grand Prix last year off the back of a disappointing Singapore race, won by Carlos Sainz. With his DNF in Melbourne and the smooth operator's victory still fresh in the mind, the defending champ will be hoping for a similar response to last year. And he looked in imperious form in FP1. His best soft shot run was the fastest of all, with a lap time of 1 minute 30.056 to top the timing tables. Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez was P2, and he was followed by Sainz, Russell, Hamilton, Leclerc, Alonso, Piastri, Sonoda, and Norris. P11 for Ocon will be a boost for Alpine. Then came Albon, Hulkenberg, Bottas and Stroll. Awasa was a commendable P16 ahead of Gasly, Joe, Magnussen and the unfortunate Sergeant. OK, you. That was a clean session. You should be pleased. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for amazing this opportunity.